The current one I'm still very happy with, but the new car really takes it to a new level. And I think on many different uh, factors in the sense that, number one, it will be overall more efficient in terms of the way it's put together, the story about the weight, fuel efficiency, etc. But from a, from a design perspective, I think it's a very exciting car, really you know, plays on all the attributes that we really think of within Vauxhall, which is a very dynamic, sporty design. Um, really dials all those up to a very high level. Um, and I think really hits the sweet spot of what people are after in, in that segment. So hopefully, if you like the Astra J, then you will love the new car too. Well, it's very difficult to give one bit of advice, but I mean, at the end of the day, it really is all about your talent shining through. And, and you know, I'm obviously exposed to a lot of new, talented individuals in the, in the car design world wanting to get their foot in the door. And I, I receive many portfolios, personally actually receive many portfolios. Um, but the ones that, that truly stand out in terms of their creativity, and be able to see a bit of their thought process, they're the ones that connect with me. You know, you can, if you've got the basic talent, you can always be trained to improve your skills, but you can't always be taught to improve your thinking and how you think and how you go about things. And so if you've got that natural spark and that natural way of looking at things and challenging things, then that should come through in your portfolio. So if, you're, uh, if you've got that and you've got the energy and dynamism to be a car designer, then this is a great place to be. Well, I think, you know, we, we've probably got a few examples of those already today. If you look in the Corsa range and, and you think about how popular the Corsa is within uh, the UK, and particularly the three-door, it's actually a, a predominant three-door market. And you look at some of the special models we produce with the black wheels and the coloured roofs and some of the other dress-up kit, I think already fits with, you know, what you're, you're describing there. So I think those sort of sleepy hatches, you know, they've not necessarily got all of the full performance, but they look the part. I think we're already delivering some of those both in the Corsa and in the Astra. And then obviously, if you really want your, your heart to raise and your heart pulse to raise and things, then obviously we've got the real sporty models in things like the VXR too. So we've got both aspects of that business, I think, very well covered. Well, it's not too far away. I can't give you the exact uh, timing yet, but it is very close now. and. Um, you know, we're, we're very excited about it. I think it takes uh, the technology, the appearance, the powertrains also to, to a new level to make us, you know, truly competitive again. I say truly competitive again, you know, you've got to say in the UK, Corsa's been consistently one or two, you know, on the sales chart list. It's currently number two. So it has consistently been a bestseller for us and we're confident that the new car takes it to a new level and I think also builds on a lot of other attributes that, that we want to be known for and particularly you know the whole infotainment world and the, the perceived quality, this whole idea of more quality and durable materials and have a more sophisticated feel. So you'll see many of those values both from the technology side and the quality side really coming together to produce a really great car. <laughs> yeah, when, when I first, it's going back a few years now, but when they, um, they put that name on the table as one of the, the front runners for the name for the Adam, um, I actually put my head in my hands and said, oh no, do you know what the people in the UK are going to do to me? They're going to keep asking me, was it named after you? Well, the simple answer is no, it wasn't. It's a pure coincidence. Um, very flattering, <laughs> but it's also mainly embarrassing actually, because people keep, keep asking me that question. 
Um, that said, I am extremely proud of that car and, you know, recognising that that was quite a step out of the normal for um, our brand at that point in time and I think it really shows that we're a brand that, you know, is looking in a new direction, is looking to, you know, be a bit more provocative, a bit more edgy and, you know, and I hope we get some credit for that going forward because I think it really shows that we have a very wide bandwidth uh, of vehicles and the Adam being on one end and let's say the Insignia being on the other in terms of a sophisticated, more elegant solution. And you know, we've got everything in between. So I think we have a very characterful brand that has a lot of different personalities within it. And, and you know, for me, uh, I think the Adam is the perfect car for the, for the perfect time. I think this is a great initiative actually and, and you know when you think about what I just spoke about there relative to the Adam, you know, we're looking at how do, how do we really get our finger on the pulse of you know, the, the youth side, you know, the culture within cities like London, clearly, which is, you know, is, is a real cult centre. So, you know, it's really important for me and my team to get engaged and understand that. And I think this Made in England uh, project with Katie England is really a great opportunity to explore those things. And, you know, hopefully we're going to learn some things out of this that are going to make us think about future projects in a different way. And, um, you know, as we do vehicles that are, again, expanding the personality of our brand, I think we can, we can use much of the things we learn from these events to, uh, to really plug into that in a very positive way for the brand going forward.